डॉक्टर विक्रम सारा भाई अगेन आई हैव नॉट रेड अ बुक डेडिकेटेड टू हिम बट दैट्स अ गुड थिंग एक्चुअली बिकॉज वेन यू रीड अबाउट अ पर्सन अकॉर्डिंग टू द वर्ड्स ऑफ समन एल्स लाइक हाउ डेड डॉक्टर ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम से और थिंक अबाउट विक्रम सारा भाई वट डेड नंबी नारायण थिंक अबाउट विक्रम सारा भाई और वट डेड अरमदन थिंक अबाउट विक्रम सारा भाई राइट सो दैट रियली गिवस यूर परस्पेक्टिव एंड वेन यू रीड थ्री परस्पेक्टिव दे आर मैचिंग एंड डेफिनेटली दैट पर्सन वॉज लाइक दैट राइट दे नेवर गॉट टू शो द डेडिकेशन ऑफ विक्रम सारा भाई और वट आर नाइस पर्सन ही वॉज लाइक हाउ हाउ डेडिकेटेड ही वॉज towards the scientists or how friendly he was like he he was the guy who would go and talk directly with uh, the prime minister with indira gandhi or jawahar lal nehru he would make one call to indira gandhi and the things would be done there was no doubt in that so he was that level he was having that level of reach at the same time you would found, find him in chapels in trivandrum talking to his his young scientists like dr apj abdul kalam at that time so he was on the foot he was on the air i i like this quote so much it is written in the book um ready to fire right in the words of namin alain he said that much like his dreams his body was often in the skies something like that i put the exact code over here but the reason was that he was always traveling he was traveling from one part of india to another part of india he was uh, he was uh, he was running the physical research laboratory in ahmedabad he was uh, he was at one point the chairman of department of atomic energy so he was in mumbai and he was also running this uh, intropar at that time isro at isro now so he was every now and then in trivandrum doing so much things and also above all he was every now and then in united states trying to get back the indians who have graduated over there or have done masters or phd over there from indian background he wants them to come back and work in the indian space program he brought so many of those uh he was trying to have some technical deals maybe i'm not sure about that but obviously a lot of a lot of indian technology today uh had some of its help with some other countries you can look at it for example um the viking engine from which the vikas engine is derived it's a french model uh the first uh, first cryo engine was a russian model uh the c20 cryogenic engine c20 right that is a thrust of 7.5 i think later they made an indigenous one which is right now used in mark 3 so obviously he was working towards that as well he died in 1970 unfortunately december of that but before that also he was working towards that. for example he sent five scientists to nasa including armadan to learn the basics of uh, sounding rockets or how you are going to establish a telecommunication with that how you going to get the atmospheric data so these were the things that he was always working on that was the that is the image of mine of dr vikram sarabha but we did not see that now i do not blame rocket boys for that why because the first season ended pretty soon uh, i'll say the time span was till the point that homi bhabha was still alive so obviously it is before 1966 so obviously it has not started well but i hope that they sh- show it in the next season so other things that